What is up? It's your boy, Johnny Street Vibe. Vivi promised to tell like it is. Welcome back to a long overdue episode of Explained Easy. We're gonna go over chest flies. I'm gonna kind of like just finish this argument once and for all. And it's probably gonna continue after this anyway. So no matter what I say, it doesn't matter. But if you wanna listen and actually learn how to do a proper fly using the cable machine, chill out, sit back and listen. The butterfly, we can bring it together like this, right? And when this is here, it's ending. But then you can put one hand over the other, right here and then here. So you cross it over and you cross it over. That gives you a harder B contraction because you Okay, so I want you guys to think. When you stretch your chest, what do most people do? Well, they probably do some form of like, you know, they'll do this. They'll put their hand like this and then they'll kind of do this. They'll move away, they'll open this part of their chest up, their shoulder up and pull to stretch this part out, right? That's stretching your chest. Now, if I were to do that same action, I'd have to pull my shoulders back by having scapular retraction and shoulder depression. That is gonna stretch my chest in the same way. If I did the opposite of that, I would literally be doing this or pressing like this. I would look like this. Now, if you think about it, if you feel, if you did those movements with me, let me know if you feel your chest at all when you do this. Right? Now you're like, yeah, man, I feel it. Probably do. I'm sure like if you flex your bicep like this and kept it like this the entire time, you would be like, you really feel it. But doing this isn't making it any better. You're just pumping that part of the contraction. If you wanna do these properly and more effective, I'm gonna give you some tips right now. When we're doing this, number one, shoulders depressed, scapular retraction. So we'll have this posture the entire time. Whether we're pulling from here or here, or here, we are gonna be in this posture the entire time. Because when we stay in this posture, our chest is still flexed. If we do this and roll our shoulders, we have now taken the tension off of our chest. If we're trying to hit our the clavicle head or the pec minor, whatever you wanna call it, and some of your anterior delt, that is for, that's responsible for flexion of the shoulder and adduction. So it's doing adduction and Flexion. Flexion is when you do this. Extension is when you do this. Make sense? So, if I want to hit this part of my chest, I'm going to pull the weight moving up. If I want to hit pretty neutral, flat part of my chest, I'm just going to pull right across just like that. If I want to hit this part of my chest, like underneath my under boob, I'm going to pull from here. I'm going to pull down. The costal head of my of my chest helps with shoulder extension. So I hear you guys always say like, oh, sometimes I feel my chest doing dumbbell pullovers. Well, I do dumbbell pullovers. You know why? It's because it's aiding that movement. It's not the majority of it, but that part of your chest is gonna aid pulling the weight over. Now, we're talking about chest. Again, when you pull from here, we hit this part of our chest. So, setting it up, find your weight, keep it in so it's tight from here. You don't wanna walk out like this, and then try and freaking yank the weight away because it just looks ridiculous. You wanna take the weight with you, strong, and walk out with it, right? Then we can find our feet and we can press the weight away and down in front of us so there's already tension. Okay. Then we can naturally open, right? We don't wanna go so far back this way, we wanna keep ourselves open. Leverage is in our front foot, keeping us from flying forward or backward. This is where leverage is, from here, and then pressing up, pressing your chest, controlling it down. That chest is gonna stay up, shoulder depression as well too. And we're gonna stay with this posture. We're not gonna come up and do this. And there's no need to do this. There's no need at all to do this. Now I'm gonna go from the middle. If you're wondering where I should kind of put the weight, if it's generally in the area when you pull this out that is running around the same plane that you're pulling. So if you're pulling something from this way, you don't wanna have it all the way down here and try and pull. It just makes no sense if you're doing this. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be up here, it just has to be somewhere in the, in the line or the same pathway as where you're trying to hit, right? So from here, I'm gonna have it at 19. 19, from here, I'm gonna pull it in, kinda lean on it, push myself out just like I do in a press. From here, I'm already in a position, chest up, shoulder depression, opening up, and I'm keeping my elbows in that fixed position the entire time and pulling and squeezing my chest when I pull it. Opening up and pulling. If you want to be a little more advanced, you can kind of fall into it, but don't let your hands go past 
your chest because then your shoulders are doing all the pulling. And right now, my shoulders are in a lot of pain. So I'm gonna set myself back a bit and stay here. We're opening up and squeeze. Same thing coming from the top. Where should it be from coming from the top? As long as it's the same, we're on the same on both sides, obviously, but as long as we're pulling in the same direction as we're trying to go. So relatively, pulling in this position here, pull it close to my body. I'm gonna start from here, I'm gonna push out, and I'm gonna open up. My chest is in that same position it was, pulling from the depth, pulling from the bottom, pulling from the middle, and now pulling from the top. And again, don't let your arms or hands pass your chest. My chest is now has to go from a shoulder more to pull it over. So I wanna be able to just contract and pull. To give you guys an idea of why it doesn't make any sense for you to pull your arm over, and I kind of already explained this. We already said that for my body, my chest being in a stressed position, my shoulders need to be rolled back. Look at this, uh, this. This, think, think about this entire muscle here, attaching some around these lines of here, and then you're pulling the shoulder back. Right, for you to pull the shoulder back, you have to pull your scaps back, and then even more with shoulder depression. So you're stretching that shoulder. Once I do this, right, now the job for the chest is to, all this connects right here to your shoulder, and then it just pulls this in. Now I'm gonna use my chest, just pull it in and flex my chest. And I'm right here, I'm about middle of my body where my chest is completely pulled. It is completely, if I do the other side here, it's the same, I am so pumped. It's ridiculous right now, from here. Now, for me to have to cross my mid-plane, I have to anterior rotate my shoulder, which would make it move from being back this way to this way. Hence, therefore, is that a word? Hence, thereof, taking the load off of my chest and rolling it into my shoulder and traps. And you might get some type of like, a pressure in your chest, but that's because there's constant tension of the cable pushing your arms back and you constantly pushing forward. You might feel it in your chest, but you're not getting the most out of it doing this. So if you roll your chest doing it, there's no point. And even if you just do this, even if you're here, there's no point of doing this. You're not getting any more activation. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what to say, guys. I just thought I'd bring it to you guys. I've seen it way too often, and it's getting annoying. It's getting so annoying. If you learn how to properly push, move the weight, contract muscle, you understand that doing the extra gimmicks aren't gonna make it doing this stuff, doing dumbbell whatever, doing this. Uh, this is gonna make it better chest. It's not. It's trying to help you guys. 2022. And start this year off on the right foot and get away from all the extra nonsense. Hope you guys liked the video, guys. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know, I'm gonna come with that tell like it is transparent and vulnerable truth. For coaching, johnnashe.com. If you want to open up a coaching, book a phone consult, 15 to 30 minutes. At the end of the consult, I deduct the phone consult of any package that you pick. Hey guys, this entire video that I did, you get it in my ebook or coaching. So, hit those links below to help change your life or save your life for the better. Guarantee HTLD supplements, craigjuset.com. Let's get checked. Fit Army, it works. Anyway, make sure you guys add me on Instagram and TikTok. Send me your progress pics, your foodie pics, and your training clips, and I'll repost it for you guys, because you know how it is. Iron Chef is Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep you chasing. Peace.